Dependency injection is an object configuration style in which an object is configured from the outside instead of configuring itself from the inside. In this video um, I will be looking into dependency injection and here is a list of the topics that I will get into. An object A depends on another object B if object A needs object B in order to execute correctly. For instance, a web action class might need a data access object in order to execute correctly. The web action might need um, to read data from the database or store data in the database and this database access might be uh, hidden under a data access object layer. Here's an example implementation of, um, of a web action uh, called my web action. Well, actually, it's not the complete um, implementation, but uh, you can see the, the dependency here, the, the, the DAO input, which is an, uh, an implementation of the iDAO interface. Um, what you can also see is that my web action instantiates a DAO input itself. Uh, which means that it satisfies its own dependency. In other words, it configures itself. Um, this kind of design has, has two problems. First of all, if you need a different implementation of, uh, of the iDAO interface, you actually need to change the code. You need to change the My Web Action code. And second of all, um, if DAO input has any dependencies, um, which it cannot configure itself from the inside, let's say the DAO impl needed a database connection, then um, my web action actually also needs to know about the, the DAO impl's dependencies. This way, dependencies has a way of, uh, has, a, has a tendency to, to spread out through the application to components that, that don't really have anything to do with them. Here's a slightly changed implementation of the my web action. Uh, instead of, um, of instantiating the DAO impl inside the web action, uh, the my web action instance, it now just sets the DAO uh, member variable to null, um, in, and then it, it uh, in the in the constructor it takes a DAO uh, instance, an i DAO instance. This way, you can configure from the outside when when instantiating the my web action you can configure what iDAO implementation the, the my web action object is going to use configuring an, an object like this from the outside by either passing the dependencies uh, to its constructor or you can pass it to a setter method is called dependency injection. The dependencies the object has are injected into the object at creation time or after creation time. In a larger application, uh, you will have longer chains of dependencies, like for instance, object A will depend on object B, and object B will depend on object C. And of course, you have you know somewhere in the application some class or component needs to know about all these um, different objects in order to instantiate them and glue them together, wire them together. The component that normally knows about all these components and knows how to glue them together is um, is called a dependency injection container, or um, just a DI container for short. When the dependency injection container is uh, going to create an object, um, it will first resolve all its dependencies, meaning uh, say the, the container has to create object A, and object A depends on object B, and object B depends on object C. Then first, the dependency injection container will start out with creating object C, then it will create object B and inject object C into it and then finally it will create object A and inject object B into it. 
there are many benefits of dependency injection comparing to having objects um, configure themselves but um, I won't get into them in this little video uh, they are covered in a different page in the tutorial and um, if I'll be doing a video then it will be uh, located on that page as well